Hey there, John here with another episode of Connecting Through Magic. Now, oh, wait, one, one second, wait. <laughs> much, much better. Okay, first of all, that was a trick. I showed that to my wife yesterday and she said, make sure you let them know it's a trick. It's a trick, it's a trick. Um, you don't actually do that. Um, but I wanted to show you that because we're gonna talk today a little bit about how sometimes audio, how sometimes that can trick you just as well as your sight. We always say, you know, slide a hand, hand is quicker than the eye, but sometimes it's the audio. And today the trick is um, cracking your neck like that, and but you're not cracking your neck like that. It is all a trick. And you know what? It's really easy. Yes, it's disgusting, but it's funny. You can freak out your parents, you can freak out your brother, your sister, um, but you're not actually doing it. What you're doing is you're using this and but they don't see that you I'm sitting here and I'm at the table and I've got in between my legs I've got this and so when I do this you know when you see it it's not that it's like oh look at that um, but out of sight I put it in between my legs and as I do this I'm squeezing my legs together so I go and you get that the same at the same time you get that feeling of what because you're hearing it you're seeing this and then if you want to do it twice you need to make sure because you squish it once you just turn it in your you just turn it with your hand and you do a second time so there is that it's now you can at magic shops and magic places online shops online um, will sell something called a bone cracker, which is a similar thing, except it's not like this. It's not something you already have in the house, and this is pretty easy. Now, if you have a long sleeve shirt, you can actually use it underneath your arm. So you can place it underneath your arm so it's hidden, and you can so you can be standing, and you can go do the same thing. So you've got it here, and then go it's the same thing. Now there's a second way, a second thing you can do that. So let's say you've done that, you're like, and you're like, oh, you know what? Actually, my nose, people don't realize it. You know how you can pop your finger? People actually, um, they can pop their nose. Watch, here, wait, ready? Listen. Ah, here, I'm gonna do this. Ah. Yeah, gross, isn't it? This one, again, uses audio, but you're using your thumb and your teeth. So when I go, go for it like this, and I go to move, but I'm covering it all like this. It sounds disgusting. Yeah, but it's a lot of fun. So uh, I hope you enjoy that. Um, I do think it's important, especially this one here is not that big a deal, but this one here, when you want to, um, I do uh, suggest that it is a, normally you don't expose how a trick is done. Normally you don't go, you don't go, ah, um, but this one might be a good one that after you've done this, ah, uh, and everyone's all grossed out, you go, it's amazing what a used water bottle can be used for. And... Uh, at least giving people go, oh, that's fun. Um, anyway, there we are. That is today's episode of Connecting Through Magic. I am John. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I will see you tomorrow.